Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're here right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for everyone that has subscribed to our YouTube channel, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. We're two subscribers away from 500. So hopefully we can get there by uh, the end of today or maybe the end of tomorrow. But two subscribers away from uh, the milestone of 500. Again, I appreciate everyone that has subscribed to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I want to give a shout out to our latest subscriber, Scott Ward. I want to say thank you, Scott Ward, for subscribing to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? Hmm, is anything going on in the world of professional wrestling? Uh, let me think. Let me think for a second. Uh, is anything going on? Um, yeah, I think there are a few things going on, actually. Uh, first off, I think the WWE should be very, very worried. Very, very worried right now because all elite wrestling, AEW wrestling, is absolutely 100% without a doubt competition for the WWE. Chris Jericho even said in a few months he expects AEW to have higher ratings than the WWE, and I, for one, agree with that. AEW pulled out all the stops at All Out last night, and my goodness, my goodness, the debuts on that show. Brian Danielson, Adam Cole, Ruby Soho. We saw New Japan pro wrestling legend Minoru Suzuki come out and challenge John Moxley. My goodness, what a damn show. What terrific, terrific, terrific debuts. Everything was just fantastic. Had Adam Cole come out. You know, what is just the ending of that show is just, just insane. Adam Cole comes out joins the elites you think the show is going to end and then uh brian danielson comes out and uh, cleans house uh, with jurassic express and christian cole um i'm sorry at uh, christian cole christian cage i'm thinking adam cole uh christian cage what a, what an ending and all elite wrestling and the fans were just the fans in attendance there and the, the fans watching were just so so pumped up man all elite wrestling is competition. The WWE should be very, very worried right now because AEW took it up another notch yesterday. You know, brought it up another level yesterday. They they did it with CM Punk, and last night all out they just brought it up to another level. They got one of the best female wrestlers uh, on the scene right now, Ruby Soho. Um, Minoru Suzuki, which is an absolute killer. Actually, Minoru Suzuki, John Moxley is going to be on uh, the next episode of uh, Dynamite. That's going to be a terrific, terrific match. Brian Danielson looks like he wants to go right at Kenny Omega. Whew. Adam Cole joining all the My goodness. My goodness. I don't care what anyone says, man. I don't care. The WWE says, oh, AEW is not competition. They are Freaking competition. I almost cursed there, but I gotta keep it <laughs> gotta keep it a curse-free show. But they are freaking competition for the WWE. My goodness. My goodness. And Brian Danielson said he uh CM Punk can help um can help younger talent in AEW. I just want to kick their effing heads in. So Brian Danielson, the, the American Dragon, my goodness, he's coming in. He just he just wants to get going. He says he really wants to test himself. He says this Vince McMahon was a little overprotective. Uh, but um, Brian Danielson said that he wants to uh, he wants to really test himself. Uh, now he had the uh, the medical issues where he wasn't able to wrestle for a while. Hopefully he'll just if he's able to wrestle on a level the level he wants to wrestle in and stay safe. Then I say go for it, man. I say go for it. But but getting who would have thought? Who would have thought that that um, a company besides the WWE would would have CM Punk? And Brian Danielson in it. Uh, say about I was say, a year ago, if someone said to you that uh, Brian Danielson was was wasn't going to be wrestling for was going to be wrestling for another company uh, the following year, you 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 wouldn't believe it. No one would believe it. If someone said CM Punk is debuting for another company that's not the WWE, you wouldn't believe it. But CM Punk when he uh, he took that um, commentary role, um, I forgot. To, I think it was. Um, I, I forgot it was on a Fox Sports or something where he was doing a little bit of commentary or, or analysis for the WWE. Everyone's like, oh, CM Punk's coming back to the WWE. CM Punk's coming back. Uh, but uh, and if you would have said, well, he's not going to be debuting for the WWE. He'll be debuting for AEW. You would have thought, people would have thought that you were crazy. 
But look, look, look where we are now. What, what's the date? It's September, September 6th, 2021. CM Punk is in All Elite. Brian Danielson is All Elite. Adam Cole is now All Elite. My goodness, man. My goodness. And their, 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 their shows, their attendance is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. All Elite Wrestling, man, they're getting it done. They took it up to another level. They're, they're going to be the number one wrestling promotion in six months. They're going to be the number one wrestling promotion in North America in six months. Possibly the – well, I don't want to say the world because they're they're just starting to expand internationally. Uh, I don't remember the, the gentleman's name, but they hired somebody, a uh, former Impact Wrestling uh, employee, uh, to come in and run their international – to expand um, AEW internationally. Uh, so they hired, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but they're they're expanding internationally now. Uh, so you can't really say in the world, but in North America, in six months, AEW will be the number one promotion. I'm, I'm calling it right now. I'm saying it right now. And Chris Jericho, he, uh, he he said it as well. I'm saying it right now. All Elite, All Elite Wrestling will be the number one promotion in North America within six months. Their ratings will be better than WWE's ratings. WWE ratings are declining. AEW ratings are are going up. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing um, what the ratings are for the next uh, AEW Dynamite, uh, which is uh, this Wednesday, of course. I'm curious to see how many people tune in to watch that because, man, oh, man. It's going to be a terrific show, <laughs> and uh, the the all out. Uh, Tony Khan had indicated that all out um, broke all rank was the biggest selling pay per view in the history of AEW. Uh, he didn't have any numbers, exact numbers, but he said it was was the highest rated, uh, highest um, highest viewed, highest purchased pay per view in the history of all elite. So I'm curious to see what the numbers are there, and. Um, Merchandise just just flying off the off the shelves yesterday, off the tables yesterday at all elite at all elite wrestling. Everybody wants all elite wrestling merchandise. I'm waiting for all elite wrestling Funko Pops. That's what I want to see. But all elite wrestling man took it to another level, without a doubt. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. What what they pulled off yesterday. Just, just fantastic. I'm excited about Minoru Suzuki. Um, I know I was talking about, so would love to see Minoru Suzuki in Impact Wrestling as he's got a lot of independent dates signed. Uh, but seeing him in All Elite and confronting um, John Moxley was just fantastic. Just fantastic. Huge Minoru Suzuki fan. And uh, their match is going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait for that match. It's going to be this um, this Wednesday on Dynamite as well. It's going to be just a tremendous, tremendous match. I'm pretty sure it's Dynamite. It might be Rampage, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's Dynamite. It's either Dynamite or Rampage. Uh, one of the two shows uh, will be Suzuki against uh, John Moxley. And uh, I'm waiting for Kenny Omega versus Brian Danielson. That's going to be just an insane match. And uh, CM Punk, CM Punk... Um, he said he's like uh, he was just so pumped up with uh, the additions of of Brian Danielson and and Adam Cole. He says wrestling is fun again. He tweeted out when he's in the WWE. He tweeted out uh, this poop isn't fun anymore. Uh, but I think he responded to that tweet uh, with a uh, with a this this. I don't want to curse. I want to keep it kid friendly, but uh, this S H I T is fun now. So he's, he's having a great time. CM Punk is, is, is enjoying himself. Uh, he's, he says it's fun again. So it's uh, great stuff, man. Great stuff. AEW. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm still, I'm still reeling. I'm still reeling um, from, from last night. So uh, that, um, Great stuff. So Impact Wrestling. I was just talking about Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling. Uh, they um they need to make a little bit of a splash because it's a little bit. Uh, they're they're kind of taking a backseat to everything right now, and you know, and, and understandably so. Understandably so. I mean, when you look at the elite, you have the Good Brothers, um, um, Doc. <coughs> Excuse me. You have the Good Brothers. Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows. Sorry, I got a little bit, a little bit of cough there. Just getting excited. Um, and uh, Luke Gallows, and uh, they're in elite, but they're they're basically in, in uh, AEW. They're part of the AEW, um, the elite faction. They also wrestle for Impact Wrestling, but it, I think it's it's safe to say that once their contract is up, 
with Impact Wrestling, they'll be heading on over to um, AEW. I think it's pretty. I mean, it, it, if if someone who's not familiar with Impact Wrestling and they see the elites and and you ask them, well, what what company is Carl Anderson and um, Luke Gallows signed with? And now if they're not familiar with Impact Wrestling, they'll probably tell you, oh, they're with all elites, and that's that's what it kind of seems like. So once their contract is up with Impact Wrestling, it's a it's a safe bet, safe bet that they'll be uh, going to AEW, uh, in my opinion. Um, but um, but Impact Wrestling, they need to make a little bit of a splash. They need to make a little bit of a splash. Now with Adam Cole and Brian Danielson and Ruby Soho all signing and debuting all on the same day, I think, I think um, Braun Strowman and Buddy Murphy to Impact Wrestling, the odds have increased that Impact Wrestling might be able to sign Strowman and um, Buddy Murphy. Um, okay, they're they're not game changing um, signing. Well, Braun Strowman will be a will be a great signing, uh, but um, like Buddy Murphy, Buddy Murphy has the potential to be a, a great uh, wrestler as well. But when I say game changing, I mean it's not going to be like a CM Punk signing or anything like that. Uh, but I think Impact Wrestling. I think they need to make a big splash. I think they need to go all out and. Try to bring in Braun Strowman, uh, Buddy Murphy again with, with Danielson Cole, Soho, all signing with uh, All Elite Wrestling. I think All Elite Wrestling, I don't know if they're going to want to take a little bit of a pause because a lot of debuts happening too fast might not be the best thing. And if Braun Strowman comes in, I mean, where are, they, where are you going to fit Braun Strowman? Is he going to is he going to confront Paul White? Is he going to have Paul White? Does he want to do that? Does he want to be on, on the mid card or does he want to be – um, the top guy in a promotion. That's why I'm thinking Impact Wrestling has a really good chance at signing Braun Strowman. We all know Braun Strowman has a um, a, you know, a uh, match, um, free your narrative match. Uh, I think I think that's what it's called. If I get it wrong, I'm sorry, but it's with EC3. Um, he's taking on EC3 in a cinematic match that, that's coming up. Uh, don't know the exact day, but uh, we'll love to see Braun Strowman sign with Impact Wrestling. He'll be the top guy immediately. And uh, Buddy Murphy coming into Impact Wrestling. And they need to sign a few guys. I mean, they're, they're obviously not going to be able to sign the top guys. Um, any top free agents like uh, Brian Danielson or uh, CM Punk. AEW has, of course, the better shot to sign them. Um, but uh, they need to get creative. Impact Wrestling needs to get a little creative. Don't know where the the, the New Japan Pro Wrestling Partnership is going. Um, don't know if we're going to see anyone. I know Satoshi uh, Kojima was also um, part of All Out to Gun, John Moxley. Um, we not so haven't seen Jay White at uh, the last set tapings. Uh, Finn Juice as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I think Finn Juice is uh, still working with them. But I need to get a little creative Impact Wrestling. I mean, there's there's a couple of guys out there that are still available. Um, the NXT releases. Uh, Bronson Reed would be a good signing. Uh, Tony Nese would be a good signing for Impact Wrestling. Leon Ruff would be a good signing. They bring in Mercedes Martinez. That would be a, a decent signing for Impact Wrestling. And from what I hear, they're going to be more NXT releases um, on the way. So uh, don't quote me here, but I, I read that, you know, it's rumored that Johnny Gargano, um, Tommaso Ciampa, um, and other uh, NXT um, talent are all going to be released as well. Again, I, I just read rumors. I don't know if it's true or not, uh, but I wouldn't put a pass at WWE. I know they want to, they want to, they want to get big. I mean, they, they just signed Gable Steveson. Uh, is it Steveson or Stevenson? What, it's one of the two, but uh, they just signed him and they're, they're banking. They're putting all their money on on a guy that's never stepped into the ring. Um, we're going to talk about him in a second. We're going to talk about him in a second. But, um, yeah, so Impact Wrestling needs to get a little creative. They're not, obviously not going to sign the top CM Punk level guys, uh, but they need to get creative and uh, go after guys, like I said, like a Bronson Reed or a Tony Nese. Um, and they need to go all out and try to sign Braun Strowman. And I, I was reading that Buddy Murphy has already signed a contract with them, so hopefully that's true. Uh, but they, they, I would love to see them get Braun Strowman. And also out there, also Bray Wyatt is still available. You know, Bray Wyatt is rumored to be joining AEW as well. Not sure when. Uh, I think he's got a ninety-day non-compete. But if I was Impact Wrestling, I would, I would, I know they, they express interest in Bray Wyatt. I mean, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they be interest, interested in Bray Wyatt? But if they could go all out. If they could just say, you know what, you know, AEW is going all out. We need to go all out as well. We need to expand. If they're able to get Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman and bring both of those guys in, I think that would be absolutely tremendous for Impact Wrestling. The odds of them doing it are, are not great. 
uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Bray Wyatt um, will be headed to AEW. I'm sure Tony Khan will love to have Bray Wyatt in. Uh, I think they're going to cool down on the debuts for a bit. And uh, when the 90-day non-compete has ended for Bray Wyatt, I don't know the exact day. Uh, maybe they would bring him in. But I think they're going to cool down with the debuts. Um, I mean, with CM Punk, Adam Cole, Ruby Soho, Brian Danielson, I mean, what, what else? They, they need to just let things... They need to let things percolate for a bit, right? Let things let let let's have a few matches. Let, let's get some storylines going again. Let things percolate for a little bit, and before we before we uh, rush in somebody else. So, uh, I think um, we're not going to see another signing for 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 some time in AEW, uh, but I could be wrong. But uh, back to Impact Wrestling, they need to um, they need to make a little bit of a splash. They need to make a. They need to make not a little. They need to make. A, they need to make a huge splash right here. They need to make a huge splash, and um, the first two keys I think would be uh, Braun Strowman and Buddy Murphy. Because um, if Braun Strowman and Buddy Murphy both end up in AEW, Impact Wrestling is. I don't know. The Impact Wrestling could be in some trouble. I mean, they have a tremendous, tremendous talent in Josh Alexander, ex the current X Division champion Josh Alexander, whose contract is coming up, I believe, in early 2022. I think I read it was February 2022. They can't let him go. Right. They, they need to keep Josh Alexander. He's he's right now. Josh Alexander, in my opinion, is the cornerstone of Impact Wrestling. He's the face of Impact Wrestling. He's the best talented, best talent that they have in Impact Wrestling, and they they can't let him go. Uh, they need to do what they they need to do what they can to keep Josh Alexander when his contract runs up. Although I will have to say that <laughs> Josh Alexander will look pretty good in all elite wrestling. But um, but Impact Wrestling, they need to keep uh, Josh Alexander. So they need to uh, they need to get busy. They need to get busy, and they need to uh, start. They need to open up that bank vault and start bringing some guys in. Um, when I say open up that bank vault, because I'm sure Braun Strowman is going to command a lot of money, uh, and um, I'm, and and Buddy Murphy, I'm not sure how much money he. But uh, but, but then like I said, I would love to see them get Bronson Reed. Although Bronson Reed has expressed interest in all elite wrestling, but again, not everybody could go to all elite wrestling. Not everyone's going to get signed by all elite wrestling. Uh, they're going to have to put a stop on some signings because they're, they're throwing out a lot of money now. Uh, so this is where Impact Wrestling. You know, they could go after some of the talented NXT releases, as I said, and bring them in. Again, such as Bronson Reed, Tony Nese, Leon Ruff, Mercedes Martinez. Um, there are other uh, other guys out there as well. Uh, but that's that's what Impact Wrestling needs to do, in my opinion. Uh, let's talk about Gable, Gable Stevenson. Is it Stevenson or Stevenson? It's one of the two. But um, I mentioned uh, the other day that he... Uh, that he came out and said he's a modern day Kurt Angle, which is okay. He hasn't stepped in the ring yet. He hasn't stepped in. The, he just he just signed a contract with the WWE. Never stepped in the ring, and uh, before he signed the contract, he called himself a modern day Kurt Angle. You know, and I said maybe he talked talk to me in five years. Put the brakes on that for now. Uh, and I was going through his tweets actually, and there's another tweet that was interesting. Um, somebody, uh, it was a, a website said now that, uh, Brock Lesnar is back uh, for eight dates, who do you think his opponent should be? Who, what eight opponents should be named, uh, for Brock Lesnar and, uh, Gabriel Stevenson or Stevenson came out and said me. And I'm thinking, dude, you need to relax, man. It was just before he, it was before he signed his contract. He, does he obviously, does he? honestly think that at this point in time that he could step in the professional wrestling ring with Brock Lesnar, dude, you need to, uh, he, I mean, he might start training and who knows, he might, he, he might not, uh, he might not um, catch on. He might not be a modern day Kurt Angle. You know, maybe it'll be a, maybe he won't understand the, the, the psychology that comes along with professional wrestling. Maybe he won't be, maybe, what if he's a failure? What if he doesn't, what if he doesn't succeed and already he wants to step in the ring with Brock Lesnar? It's not an amateur match, man. It's just a professional wrestling match. Do you, do you understand the difference between the two? You know, me, I want to, I want, I should be one of the opponents. You, you haven't even taken a bump yet. And you're already saying, I want to wrestle Brock Lesnar. I, I, I should be, I should be one of the eight opponents for Brock Lesnar. Um, that, that, um, that he signed a new contract, uh, an eight match contract. And I should be one of those matches. Give me a break, dude. You know, step in the ring. You know, apply your headlock. Learn, <laughs> learn how to apply your headlock first before you uh, step in the ring with Brock Lesnar. Okay, um, and uh, we'll leave it at that. 
And last but not least, New Japan Pro Wrestling, they reveal their participants for their, their G1 Climax 31 tournament, um, which is always a, just a tremendous, tremendous tournament. So there's an A block and a B block. So here's the list of names for the New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 tournament. And the winner of this uh, tournament goes on to face the IWGP heavyweight champion, whoever that may be right now in Shingo Takaji um, at, um, at Wrestle Kingdom in January. So involved are, here are the names, Kota Ibushi, Tomohiro Ishii, Toriano, Shingo Takaji, Tetsuya Naito, Zack Sabre Jr., The Great Okan, Kenta, Tangaloa, Yujiri, Yujiro Takahashi, that's the A block. And the B block, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Kazuchika Okada, Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi, Sanada, Taichi, Jeff Cobb, Evil, Tamatanga, and Chase Owens. So uh, Great Okan, Tangaloa, and uh, Chase Owens will be making their G1 debuts. Uh, the winner of the A block will face the winner of the B block and the G1 finals and the winner of the tournament will receive a briefcase that grants them a shot at the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Wrestle Kingdom 16. Uh, the briefcase holder will defend the title shot contract between the G1 finals and Wrestle Kingdom. Um, well, that's interesting. So they're going to have to defend the, the title contract. Um, uh, well, last year was that Kota Ibushi actually defended it last year as well. Uh, so um, the briefcase holder will defend the title shot contract between uh, the G1 finals and Wrestle Kingdom. So um, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. All right. On that note, I want to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. This is Shooting Up North on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.